Governor Green wants to convert 3,000 short-term rentals into long-term housing for displaced Maui residents and threatens enforcement if owners don't cooperate. Bryce Moore has the story. Governor Green says over 6,000 people or about 3,000 families are still in hotels after being displaced by the fires. He adds there are between 12 to 14,000 short-term rentals on island, which could be used to house them long-term. It's just not okay that we don't have housing for our local people. And so I will propose a moratorium on short-term rentals through emergency rules. I'm sure we will face litigation, but I will do it if we don't get 3,000 units uh, for our people who have been living in hotels. Green says the hammer will drop in mid-January unless enough short-term rental owners step forward to transition to long-term. And also announcing $1.5 million settlements will go out by mid-2024 to families of victims of the fire if they agree to no further litigation. If they're gonna get a much better uh, deal long term, they should take it. I mean, that, that's fine, but I wanna make sure people have a chance to heal sooner and they'll be able to get the settlement wrapped up really quickly. But he says housing is top of mind and incentives are being offered for short-term rental owners to convert, like an 18-month property tax break and fair market value payments. The average amount of money that people get from short-term rentals is 352% of the base rent that people would pay. We're here to basically offer you what you got paid in the previous year, and you're gonna benefit presumably from this tax break. Lahaina Strong organizer Jordan Ruidas was happy with the news, but concerns are there with fair market payments being so high. With the funding they have, they might not be able to house as much as they thought because they're offering so much rent. But I do have one owner where she said she was offered $6,000 a month for a one bedroom. And she told them, that's too much. I'm not going to take that. And they're like, just take it. The governor said only a few dozen owners have volunteered so far, adding 2,000 out of the 3,000 needed units will be paid for by FEMA, with the state funding the remaining 1,000. Bryce Moore, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.